My name is Vera, Vera Meyer. I work at the Technische Universität Berlin. I do research on fungi, scientific research and artistic research. The project uh, we are working on with our team is basically we want to transform dead plant matter which comes from the agriculture or from forestry and we want to transform this into composite materials and we do this with fungi. And whilst basically transforming this dead plant material we generate new um, material with which we can build something. We build sculptures, uh, we want to uh, build new houses, we, we, we want to um, make isolation for, for, for houses, these kind of things. We are living now in a time where we have to get rid from this fossil-based resources, we have to move towards the so-called bio-based resources. Fungi are, at least what I think, um, are the most important microorganisms that can help us to, to move, to make this transition real. Fungi are the only organisms on Earth uh, who can fully degrade uh, dead plant matter, lignocellulosic biomatter, and meaning for, for a circular economy, for a so-called bioeconomy, they, 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 they work really at the beginning of this economy. And, and we use them, as I said, to, to make not only drugs or enzymes, we, we really want to use them to, to make houses for the future. So we co-create with fungi, it is a kind of co-design. Uh, we use them as a, or we collaborate with them as non-human agents. And, and basically whilst we are defining the outer form and we generate them with 3D printing, basically the fungi decide where to grow in these forms. And, and, and this is a process where both human and fungi collaborate to generate something new. So Microspace is a project uh, where Science Art Collective MicroX collaborates. So, so we are a team of um, artists, designer, biotechnologists, many students. And, and basically we, we, we design or think about a sculpture in which we can live not only on Earth, but basically which can also help us to explore space, the outer space. And, and basically we refer to one of the architects of the space mission, the Russian space mission, Galina Balashova, who was involved in, in the design, in the uh, interior design of, of, the, uh, of Soyuz modules, of the Mir station. And the challenge she, she faced wa was, how can she ensure that the cosmonauts, the astronauts, live perfectly in, in a limited space with limited resources? And, and basically that question from the 60s, 70s, we translate now in our century and, and we, we give and, and discuss and, and artistically express our vision how the future on our living could be on Earth and in space. The tiny bee way of life, as I foresee, is a kind of local thinking. So, so what kind of resources are around me, what kind of people are around me, how much space do I need, how much space do the others need, how can we jointly develop this, this, uh, our houses, our tiny houses. Tiny bay of living would also mean for me spending perhaps more time in nature, because the houses we just only need for sleeping. But for example, eating and talking and dancing and yeah, which we, we just can also happen in, in nature, in, in, in parks. Um, the tiny bee of living is a positive way of living. It's an utopia and uh, not at all a way of limitation, at least not the way I foresee this. So the largest problems uh, mankind uh, are facing have to do with the climate change, have to do with limited resources, be it water, be it land, be it fossil resources. It's just the, the, the increase in, in, uh, in the greenhouse gases. And there is no single answer to all of these challenges. There is no single discipline that con can contribute to these answers. So, so, so we need all sub-disciplines in science and, and we also need the artists and, and we, we need the designers and the architects to, to basically bring in their knowledge, their expertise to jointly define the, the, the right answers which are sustainable. Meaning we also have to talk to people who, who study sustainability, who study transformation. We have to bring in um, the society. 
we have to, to make people interested to participate in, 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 in these um, uh, and endeavors. And, and, and for this, my, my vote would be, do not consider a scientist as a scientist only, or do not consider an artist as an artist only. Consider, consider each and every person as a scientist and an artist. And that knowledge, that creativity, that intelligence can contribute to find the right answers.